So thanks to the support of 47 spiritist organizations around Massachusetts and, others, uh, and other cities in the country, and the dedication of many volunteers from all over yeah. who have worked so hard <laughs> to put this together today. So we are thrilled to host this annual event in the wonderful, vibrant, beautiful city of Boston, Massachusetts. And I am a native daughter of Boston, so I feel very strongly about this. And we want to welcome you with all of our hearts to my hometown. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And even though it's a cool and rainy, very much fall day finally, in this room there is only warmth and love and light, which we will share together all during the day. Now, you may not know that Boston actually has deep roots in spiritualism. For example, the great American philosopher William James, who studied down the road at the uh, Harvard School of Medicine and the uh, philosophy department, uh, he and many a people de uh, designed the American psychology. And he was fascinated by the mediums, the many mediums that flourished in the Boston area after the Civil War. And in particular, he studied one by the name of Leonora Piper. And he made a um, famous statement about this that you'll be familiar with. He said, if you wish to upset the law that all crows are black, it is enough to prove one single white crow. My own white crow is Mrs. Piper. And in the trances of this medium, knowledge appears which she has never gained by ordinary waking use of her eyes or ears or wits. So right here in American psychology's beginning, we have proof of spiritualism. <laughs> I also would like to warmly welcome our friends who are watching us online. Everyone, hello to our friends Ooh. online, hello. <laughs> In the United States Spiritist uh, Federation YouTube channel, Facebook page, and also in the International Spiritist Council YouTube channel. So stay tuned during the day. If you have any questions, we encourage you to submit them online. And if you here have any questions, you can write them down and give it to one of our volunteers outside or just raise your hand and somebody's gonna come in and collect questions. your questions. Now, eventually your questions might be answered <laughs> later on in a session that we're calling Ask Me Anything. So go ahead and ask us anything, all right? Uh, finally, I would like to welcome this symposium back to Boston. That's right, 15 years ago. I'm gonna refresh your memories. Oh, should I click or? I I click. We did it, the third symposium in Boston in the iconic, historic building of the Fennel Hall, the Cradle of Liberty, that a public space was created for the uh, residents in Boston to discuss many things, including the tea, original Tea Party you know, meetings, right, about the no taxation. So you might see some of us in those early faces. We had a play, it was very nice. The, uh, the theater, the, it was so historic, it was so humbling to be there in that space. Um, yeah, Mackenzie's right there. <laughs> we are really, really ha happy to have you all guys back here. Uh, the tech team. Yeah, this is, there was a park ranger giving us the context, the history of the building. Everybody was sitting there and he said, this half is older than this other half because the building was expanded at some point. So It's not too far from here, but it's about like 20 minutes walk to go to Fenwell Hall from here. Um, it's a very beautiful place for tourism. If you stay in town for a little longer, I encourage you to visit. Oh, and this was the meeting the next day, like the morning meeting, the leadership of the United States Spiritist Movement at the time. All right. 
So welcome back. So throughout the day today, you'll have an opportunity to mingle with many people that you see around you, including representatives from various centers in Massachusetts and of course other states. If you're interested in learning more about any of these centers, just have, uh, or if you have questions about some of the things you see in the, um, uh, in the posters out in the lobby, or if you have a burning, burning, burning question, private question, you want a fraternal private conversation, just let the people um, at the, vol the volunteers at the welcome desk know about it and they will help you out. So one of the highlights of this symposium is that it's designed for the whole family. So across the hall where we came in, uh, youth and teens are engaged in a full day of activities, exploring the team, life never ends. A quick reminder for parents. If you dropped off your children and you haven't yet filled out the required forms, please do it now. Anyone? <laughs> All right. Another reminder is that um, uh, the parents should pick up their children uh, just before lunch, like when we break for lunch. That's 12.15. And then bring them back before 2 o'clock so we have enough time to resettle and prepare. Um, I also like to remind you that if you parked here in the hotel, the People in the uh, desk up front, they are giving out the uh, validations so that you get a discount price at uh, when you leave. And for Boston prices, you need this. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we know that many of you are very enthusiastic readers, and I see the little spiritist reading buttons going around today. So there will be many exciting opportunities for you to get some new books during the breaks. And you have a selection of spiritist books that are available at special deals today, going, going, gone, 25% off on the USSF uh, uh, labels out there. And of course, there are many other books that will be available. And today we're excited because they were announcing the release of two new books from Jasara Korngold, Inner Transformation and Transcendence, Life in the Hereafter. Very exciting. And she will be here to sign these books during our breaks. Yay, there she is. Okay, there's the author right there. Very good. All right, so we're about to begin our program. If you haven't already, please take this moment to silence your cell phones. Okay, good. You don't want us staring at you if it goes off, <laughs> right? Or maybe you're going to ask them something, right? Oh, that way. <laughs> you're going to bring you ask anything. And what better way to start than by connecting with the high spirits through music? To help us do just that, Let's welcome Group Harmony from the Amalia Domingo Soler Spiritus Cultural Center. The group was formed in 2005, was inspired by the youth of their center who demonstrated a deep passion and love for music and excitement shining through their melody. Today they will perform Recuerdos, Nada Porque Temer, Wind Beneath My Wings, and as they play the last song, Veo Adios, Flavio Zanetti from Alain Kardec Spirit Society, you let, let lead us into the opening prayer.
Dear friends, let's gather in prayer. If you so feel comfortable, close your eyes. And let us all imagine the figure of our professor, of our teacher, Jesus. Walking through the door and sitting right next to us. And in one thought, in one voice, let us all say, thank you, Jesus, for this amazing opportunity that we all have today. Thank you, and also for the, all the beloved spirits, our garden angels, our mentors, spirit guides, that our physical eyes cannot see. We thank them for all the blessings we're about to receive. We ask, we ask you dearly that come closer to us, bring peace to our hearts, enlightenment to our minds, so that throughout the day we may learn a little bit about these beloved ideals that we call spiritism. May today be a day of gathering, a day of learning, but also a day that we did dedicate to strengthening our friendships from those that we know and those that we get to know, that we all gathered today with our spiritist ideals in place. And if we could, our dear Jesus, bring this prayer to our heavenly Father and Mother God to thank for all the blessings we have received, but also all the obstacles, all the difficulties that make us all stronger. And once again, stay with us, embrace this amazing event that's about to start throughout the day. Amen. Amalia.
Thank you very much for this heart-rending uh, songs. Heart opening. Opening. <laughs> and Flavio for the prayer. Uh, the songs talking about seeing God in the most simple things in life, in the Thank streets you. of our house, everywhere. So, um, please. <laughs> Thank you again for opening up our hearts and setting the tone for us all to um, settle into the simple uh, loving 